He's Alfred Adrian. Hello. Rahul was talking about his brother. My brother's here. He came to see the show. Lots of pressure when family is here. And the thing is, my brother was always the overachiever in the family. You know you're the dumb one in the family. Have you seen your parents, like the way they respond to his report card? It's just very different from mine. He used to be all A's and like one B. And my mother would go, oh, my boy, you can do better in this one B. But we're very happy. When my report card came, very different. It's just C's and D's in there. And she'll go, oh my goodness, my boy passed. We're having duck, we're having duck. You know you are the dumb one when you're having duck every time. You make it, the base. Anyway, my name is Alfred. Hi, how are you doing? So like, I've, I've been in lockdown in South Africa for months now. I, you, it's not right to spend that much time with your wife. It's not fair on her. It's not fair on her. And also, I've been lying about who I am to keep her for years. It's like having a traffic officer follow you for a hundred kilometers. She's gonna, they gonna find something. You know what I mean? I've been walking around with nothing but underwear and an old t-shirt. It's, it's not pretty, it's, is it? It's not at all. And you learn things about each other. For example, she, oh, she believes everything like a rom-com has to offer, everything. <laughs> Men always die early now in those things, eh? We all go first. It's, uh, she was watching this thing where the guy takes the girl around the world. It's beautiful. She's weeping. It's complete shit. I'm sorry to swear. I was like, she's watching and the guy says something no man has ever really said or meant ever. Where the guy goes, at the end, he dies. Huh? And he goes, when I die, I want you to find love again. Huh? Find love again? With my life insurance, are you? I will haunt you. You wear black until my child is 25. That's what you do. I'm putting on the kettle every night, click, 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 that's me. <laughs> when they go, who's that? It's Alfred, he's back for his money. <laughs> it's me, I want my money back. She believes everything, ma'am, I can see. You also believe the things that you see. It's, men don't look like that. We don't shower like that, ma'am. No one, no real, like normal nine to five man that provides for his family has time to do 250 fucking push-ups before work. They shower and they go, and just walk out. I'm like, there was no soap, he stinks. He's, a, he's dirty, stop licking your lips and watching it. I'm right here, I've been here the whole time. She, the thing is, is that ma if married women believe these things, what are single people supposed to believe? That's not how men are. These are good. You're trying to find love. I've got family all the time, especially my cousin. She's always like, I can't find love. It's because she's looking in the wrong container. She wants a ripped container and there's a good... If you want to find a good man, if you're single and you're out there and you're trying to find a good man, find a man with cholesterol. <laughs> High blood pressure or sugar diabetes, okay? That is a quality man. He needs a Coca-Cola to get through the day. When he gets home, just give him two biscuits. He's gonna die by 55. You have his life insurance money. It's a happy ending. It's terrible. The worst thing I've been watching was, and I'm shy, I was, my parents are extremely like hectic Christians, right? So we grew up like, have you ever sat and watched a movie and people start kissing and it gets hot? <laughs> and you don't know what to do because your mom is right there. You don't, you, oh, I've got to go, I've got to go make tea, fuck. <laughs> you know, I, you, you don't know, you're like, tea everybody? Are you out? I'm still like that, but it's just me and my wife watching. I don't know where all this guilt. <laughs> I'm 40, man. I've got all this guilt. I was watching Fifty Shades of Grey, all fucking three, all over again. Yes, man. I'm suffering out here. I was watching Fifty Shades of Grey and she was watching it with me. And she... And this dude is fucking hot. I mean, he is a sexy man. You know when the pants are tight these days, eh? Every pair of pants. You, sir, even you guys wear tight shit. It's tight. I don't know how you get into those pants. 
it's a beautiful thing to watch, but fuck, I can't, I'm not that guy, you know? So she watches this guy and he's beautiful, right? And I also, but he does things to this woman. <laughs> Ma'am, he's got a padded room. I know you've seen the fucking thing. It's padded, it's padded. In case she fucking falls over and knocks her head. He's got whoops, sir. He's got fucking whoops with silk wrapped. It's expensive whooping. It's a... And he's got like these cuffs that he... Then he ties... There's a pummel horse. Fuck, I don't know where the guy... How do you order these things? I want a pummel horse and two silk whoops. Where? Do you find that? You know, like you put it down... He puts it down in the... And then there's a pulley. Fuck, like he's on a construction site, right? He ties her up here and then he... It's not tight fucking enough. He's got to pull the pulley. Fuck, I am shy. At this point, I'm like, do you want a cup of tea? <laughs> I watch half the movie from the kitchen, just like, oh my good lord. <laughs> Dirty bastard. And then he hits the shit out of him. He, that's abuse. He's, he hits this woman. And I'm like, this is abuse. She goes, you don't understand love. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? You the one that is so heavy about abuse now. <laughs> Watching you know, you know. If he was poor, if that fucker was poor and unattractive, it would be a different fucking movie, eh? The outcry would be ridiculous. My, I, every time I tell my wife, it's a double standard. If I try and tie you up with a tube sock, then it's not fuck, then it's abuse. Now it's abuse. Anyway, enough of my own life. Ladies and gentlemen, my, my name is Alfred Adrian. You guys have been lovely. Thank you. Make some noise for Alfred Adrian, everyone. And